Hey everybody, Carnage here again, and um, as as you can tell by the title of this video, I this will be my last video for a while, and I do apologize for that. I'm just kind of not feeling any kind of motivation to do this thing at, anymore, and I, I really... I do enjoy it, it's just I don't have the motivation to continue my channel at the moment. And I know I recently did just hit 200 subscribers, and that was a great, great milestone that I never thought I would get to with all the amazing people who have subscribed to me over these past um, six years almost. Six years in August, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's been a pretty wild journey. And, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be my last video for a while. So, um, without any further ado, let's get on a little bit of a more happier note and show you guys what I got. So, uh, I want to say, like, about a week after Christmas, I went... Not even a week, like maybe a couple days after Christmas. I um, went to my local Walmart and I finally bought Rage. And as you could tell by my um, top 10 figures of 2020, uh, I did complete the Abomination. So, yeah. Uh, thank you to Rage for helping me complete my uh, video game Abomination. And um, another... Thing that kind of happened uh, is the GameStop that I enjoyed going to at my local mall. It is sadly closing down forever. So, and that's not the reason why I am, but it's just a minor reason, plus the lack of motivation I have at the moment. But anyway, the I picked up these things called uh, Marvel Battle World, and they're just a bunch of like miniature Marvel characters in a ball. And uh, once you open the ball, you get to you get some cards, uh, characters, and an Infinity Gemstone thing that you can play a game with. So they're pretty cool. I'll try to remember to post it if I ever come back. And, uh, yeah, I picked up a few things. Uh, I picked up the Joe Fix-It Wave Stealth Suit Captain America. And he's a pretty cool figure. I like him. I mean, it's not the best, but it's cool. I, I enjoy it. Like, if you just find a good pose for him, he'll look good. And then I found Black Tom Cassidy. And he's actually a really cool figure. Like, better than I thought he would be. So, yeah. Again, I'm sorry if I'm just, like, down here. I I thought I'd just give you guys one last video before I, like, don't post for... Mm, excuse me. For a long while. <coughs> and now moving on to the comic books. I have... Uh, Generations Shattered, and this is a pretty cool comic. It kind of has things I enjoy, like characters from different timelines. Like it has Superboy, Steel, Booster Gold, Sinestro when he's a Green Lantern, like just characters throughout the years and stuff. It even has like the original Batman from the 1930s, so that's pretty cool. And then the next comic I have is issue number seven of Dark Knight's Death Metal. And this is a fantastic story. I highly recommend you guys do check it out. And then going on to another cool comic. And this is Dark Knight's Death Metal tie-in, The Last 52. And this issue just has like a bunch of different fights between multiple different people 
Like, it has, it even has a section with Lois Lane in it. Wonder Woman. The Teen Titans. Even the Penguin has a little segment in there. And these comics were a couple that my grandma got me a little while ago. And they are Scarecrow number one from Joker's Asylum. And Iron Fist one shot. Uh, Orson Randall and the Green Mist of Death. Yeah, I haven't read those two yet, but they have pretty cool covers, though. And this one is issue number five of Earth 2, The New 52. Uh, yeah, it's a fantastic story, in my opinion. I really do recommend you guys do check it out. And then these uh, next three are from, or four, I mean, are from my local comic shop about two or three weeks ago, I believe, at this point. And that is Maestro issue number five. And this is a fantastic, like, story for the Maestro. It's beautiful. I can't recommend it enough. It's just so good. And then next up I have King in Black issue two. And this is a beautiful cover. Donnie Cates is doing fantastic work with this story. So, Next up, I have Doctor Doom issue number 10. And I believe this is the final issue for the Doctor Doom story. This run has been going on for about a year. And it's a pretty fun read. I mean, nothing too exciting happens in it. But it's pretty good. So I recommend you do check out Christopher... Cantwell was Doctor Doom. It's, it's phenomenal, in my opinion. And then, personally, this one's my favorite tie-in for Dark Knight's Death Metal. And that's The Secret Origin. This is a great, great video. Great uh, comic, I mean. And uh, this video is not going to be edited or anything, but I, I really will try to return at some point and then these the last two are two that my grandma bought me yesterday when I helped her uh, put some antiques up and stuff like that and that is issue number 72 of the brave and the bold and for those of you who do not know what the brave and the bold is it's where like say for example character a let's say is Batman teams up with Green Arrow for an issue. And then the next issue could be, for example, Superman and Catman, Catwoman. Like, something like that. It's a pretty cool concept. And I really do like this cover. The Flash and the uh, Spectre just kind of fighting each other. It's pretty cool. And then this comic, I was actually really excited to find. And that is issue number 46... Yeah, issue number 46 of the original Daredevil run. And this is a pretty awesome looking cover in my opinion. Really like the uh, like camera that Daredevil and the... I'm not so sure who that is, but it's Daredevil fighting some guy who looks like a jester. So, yeah. Again, this is my final video for who knows how long. Maybe... It's, it might be a couple of months, maybe even a year. But I do promise I will try to come back at some point when I do gain the motivation to come back. Now, uh, with all that out of the way, I really do want to thank every single one of you who's been with me for a long time. Hobo525, GamerLajaya, GamerLajaya, I mean... Optima Awesome, uh, Hero Force Studios, Crescent Moon Animations, uh, Spider Dude Productions, Brandon Syme, he's a cool guy. He also recently just hit 200 subscribers, so go check him out. Now, this won't be me, like, leaving the community entirely. I'll still be on Instagram. I won't be active on there at all, but I'll be on there occasionally, and if anyone needs me for anything, I'll 
be there, so go follow me if you need anything or want to talk or something like that. But, um, yeah, that's basically all set. All of it for now. So, I just want to say thank you guys for watching my videos and stuff like that. Hanging out with me on my live streams. But, I'll see you later. Peace.